Hi everyone. My name is Christy from Crafty Christy. I'm so glad you guys joined me. Um, I am today going to work on a hat. I was inspired by um, a YouTuber that I saw and I loved her hat. She had this with leopard over it and it said hashtag mom life. Well, um, I am, I searched through my stash of chalk couture, um, and I found this blessed, see this little blessed right here. It's going to fit on the leopard. So I think I'm going to do that on the leopard on the hat. Um, cause I love this pink and leopard print combo. Okay. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take me. This was my first video doing this. I've crafted for years and years and years, actually, since I can hold a, a color pencil or a crayon, I've crafted. I used to sew. I've sewn for eight years in 4-H and I made my own clothes in high school. And so um, I've done a lot of sewing and different things and um, I wanted to dabble in some paint. So um, I'll tell you just a little bit while I'm getting it ready to set up here. Um, I tried stencils. I've tried, I have boxes of stencils like you wouldn't believe. Um, but I've tried stencils, I've tried everything, and I'm just messy. Like, I'm messy with paint. That's just me, okay? And I'm sure you guys are too. And I got frustrated. I'd throw it away and all that money down the, down the you know, tubes for, um, and throw the stencils away and just feel bad about myself. Um, a couple years ago, I came across this um, company named Chalk Couture. There was this girl at this craft show, and she had me try it. And, um, well, I've seen it at many craft shows and then a girl, um, recently had me try it, um, back in the fall and she said, come on, you can do it. And I thought, oh, no, I can't really like, I'm no good at the paint stuff. Give me fabric. I can sew, I can do whatever, but I can't paint. And she said, no, come on, just try it. And she gave me this little thing to try. And so I stuck the chalk couture transfer down. I got my paste. I did everything I'm going to show you how to do today. And, um, when I looked up, I had a crowd of people around me and I thought, oh no, worst nightmare. You know, it's going to try. And I told them, don't expect anything great here because I know my track record with paint. So I peeled it off. It was crisp, perfect, beautiful. I said, I'm sold. You know, something that I can hang up in my house, something I can put on my Christmas tree, something I can give as gifts or wear as a hat or a shirt um, that I can be proud of and that I did a good job with. So all that explanation, I'm going to show you how easy it is. Okay. So what you start with is your chalk couture, um, transfer. I need a, um, this is a fuzzing mat and you'll understand that later. And then my tool bag, um, and some other things. And I'm going to use, you can use ink for this on fabrics. I usually use ink, um, and you have to heat set it, but I'm going to use paste cause I'm not going to be washing this hat. Um, and so it's not, it'll stay. So I'm going to use my paste, my white, um, this one is bright white paste. Okay. I thought it had a little shimmer in it, but I don't think it does. Alrighty. So to get started, let me get my tools out here. I've got my little transfer scissors. I'm hoping you guys can hear me. Okay. I'm doing my first video here, um, taping it and doing a video, but I want to go live so I can talk to you guys during the live, but I've got to get, uh, see how this goes first with me doing, doing this on video. Um, so you also need a squeegee. This is a mini, we have a small squeegee and we have mini squeegees. Here's my small squeegee and my mini squeegee, and they're just rubber silicone things that you'll use to put the paste on. Wait till you see the magic. I'm not kidding. It's so easy, you guys. Okay, I'm going to use some of this tape. You can use painter's tape or whatever because I'm so messy because we're going to establish I'm a messy painter. I'll have it everywhere. So I'm going to, because this is thankful and blessed on here, I'm going to tape off the thing, areas around it so I don't end up with thankful on it or pieces of it that I don't want. I'm going to tape this. You'll see. And I think that's it. I might get up. I think I'll get out my small tool. This one is a small tool in case you need to go into smaller places that are next to other letters or words. I'm going to have it out just in case. But I think that's it for now. Okay. So let's get out our transfer. Now, you guys, these are silk screens. They're like stencils, but they're the difference is they're silk screens. And they, uh, hi, Milo. I've got Milo back here with me, my little chihuahua. You'll get to know him. We're going to do some things for him. Yes, I have a jean jacket that we're going to put his name on it and stuff. So 
stay tuned. So that comes on this um, backing sheet, which you want to save. So I'm going to, I hope you can see me. I'm going to just pull up the one I want. This one was from Autumn this year. It's not available. But if you guys see the um, link that I put in the comments, um, it's a link for a cart. It's a shopping cart that if you click on that link, you'll go to my website and I have a store that um, has current ones. And what I did is I picked out several that I thought would be cute on a hat sayings. And you can just look at those. You don't buy them all. You can look at the ones and click on them and see which one might apply for your, you know, you might want on your hat or shirt or whatever. But since we're doing a hat today and then remove the rest of them, leave that. And then I put some tools in there. I put a small squeegee for you and a packet of white paint, which is like a dollar forty nine. Um, and so just to get you started, um, if you want to put it on a hat you already have or something like that. So click on that shopping cart link and it'll remove the stuff you don't want. You can always look and see if there's something else you want to add to it. When you're done, check out and it'll go straight from the company to your house. It'll be sent to your house from my shop. I got a drink, sorry. So I know I'm talking too much. Okay. So these are transfers. They're screen transfers. Um, so what you do is, uh, these scissors are specially, they sell them at, um, Chalk Couture, but you can use any, but these are special for our transfers. Um, but I leave, you can cut these and have them on the backing, um, like three separate ones, but I just like to leave them on the same backing on, on these since I probably won't use them again till fall. Um, okay. So I'm just getting, cutting my transfer off and they're sticky on the back. And they're very sticky on the back. So when you first use them, if you put them on anything like um, these transfers are good. See, they have a silk screen. This is a little screen in here. So that keeps it from bleeding everywhere. So you're not going to pull it up and have a mess everywhere bleeding. Um, it's sticky on the back and these are reusable. And I'll tell you how and why, but you can use them, um, you know, eight to 12 times. I've used them up to 20 times if you take good care of them. So when I'm done, though, I'm going to put it back on this backer sheet. So I want to keep this, I'll put this over here. And um, when you're using it on, these can be used on paper. They can be used on glass, metal, any surface, mugs. I could put it on this cup, metal cup on the other side, any place. Um, so canvas on the wall, on the mirror. I've decorated snowflakes on the mirror for Christmas before or winter. You can put it on a chalkboard. You can put it, um, I saw where someone put it on a dishwasher. I saw where someone put it on a, um, one of our things that says, Alexa, please fold. They put it on their dryer. I mean, it's just wherever you want it. It's cute. Um, so what, um, if you're using like other surfaces, you need to, um, this is what this fuzz uh, cloth is for. You have to fuzz it. You put it down, pull it up, put it down, pull it up, and you get fuzz on it so it doesn't stick to your paper or your paint as heavily because it'll pull up paint like if you want to paint something let it dry and then put this on it we don't want to run the risk of ruining our this or um transfer and also ruining our project so we're not going to use this today because we don't need to use it we want it to stick real tough to this um, fabric that we're going to use so i'm just going to put it face down here and i've got all my stuff ready got my paste ready oh i'm going to need to stir my paste because i haven't used it for a while um, so we have these little stir sticks, which are $24 or 20, 24 of these for like, I don't even know, it's pennies. So um, what I'm going to do, I'll put my hat over here so I don't, well, actually I'm going to need to measure it. So um, here's, I just ordered the hat on Amazon. I looked up pink ball cap. I wanted kind of a trucker looking hat with a bigger thing, but they didn't have it in pink. And I ordered some fabric. You could go into any craft store and get leopard fabric. But this is the particular one, as you can see, I like. <laughs> I have it everywhere. But, um, on my bracelet. Um, but this is the one I wanted for my hat. So I ordered it from Amazon. And I can put those links, too, in the, um, in the comments below. So all you have to do, it's got several different fabrics you could use later for something. So all you have to do is order this on Amazon or go to your fabric, uh, your craft store and get it. Or, um, and then a hat that you already have, you can pull out a jean cap hat you already have or go to Walmart. I mean, oh my gosh, you could get these. I saw where Dollar Tree had hats. So whatever you want. 
Um, I don't have a hat that doesn't have something on it, so that's why, and I wanted the pink. Okay, so what I'm going to do is measure and see how much, how big I want. Um, if you guys, hopefully you looked at the picture of my inspiration that I, I put right before I posted this. It was a girl that I watch on YouTube that I love, and she had the cutest hat on. She didn't make it. She bought it from somewhere, and it said, hashtag mom life, and I thought, oh, I really want that. Like, I could recreate that um, with my chalk couture. So I'm just gonna right here make a little cut to try to get how big I want it here. No high tech measuring, trust me. Uh, just laying it on to see. Okay, so what I'm gonna do because I like it rustic is I'm just gonna tear it. Okay, let's hope we get it on the first try. If not, I've got plenty of fabric, right? Okay, so I want it rustic all the way around. So let me see. See, I'm just laying it on here to see how I want it. I think I want it up a little. My my head here will go like this. So I want it up a little. I think I'll just take a smidge off to um, be able to tear it on each side. And then I think I, believe it or not, got it the right way. So I just snipped it. Ah, well, that didn't work. We'll just okay. Never had fabric not tear. It is pretty thin, I will warn you. Okay, so we've got some raveling all the way around. And let me see if blessed how it's gonna fit on this. That's the other key factor. So Time to put this on here, my transfer on here, and see how we're doing. Um, oh yeah, it's gonna go perfect. I'm gonna put it on, then maybe I want it a little bit smaller, let's see. Okay, so you just stick it on, see? I'm sticking it on the fabric. And let me see how I want this to go. Yeah, I definitely think I want this a little smaller. Now that I see how small my blessed is. You could put anything on it. We have um, little sarcastic sayings that are so cute. And then we have um, like motivational little ones. We have some summer ones coming up. So I put those all in the um, cart for you. So you could just take a look at those um, and put whatever you want on it. I think for me, this just made sense and it jumped out at me and I thought that's that's the one I want. I wish we still had it in stock so you guys could get it, but we don't. Okay, so here's what I have. I have blessed on here. As you can see, it's sticky, it's stuck on there. So what I'm gonna do, which is gonna be nice going on the hat and keep it in place. So I'm gonna just tape off like I told you because I'm messy, right? We talked about that. Everyone knows I'm just saying it up front, I'm messy. I'm a messy painter. So this is just like um, oh, painter's tape. And I wanna put some on either side of these little of bless so I don't end up, um, I don't end up getting part, part of the stem of the flowers because it's so close. I've done it because I can't really see very well either. Okay, so you see what I've done. I just put that on both sides so that I don't end up. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, I, don't, I want to put it on and, I'm losing it. Okay, so let me get this out of the way so you can see. I don't know if you can see better on that or the other way. Okay, so. Now we're gonna open up our chalk here. This is where it gets messy. Here's our chalk um, paste. And this is what we are, oh, that's the new one. Oh, well, I'll open it. This is what we are famous for. Um, this is what makes all the difference. It's the perfect chalk paste combination that um, it will dry out if you leave it out too long. So you wanna work fast and, and put it away and, you know, Take care of it. You can add water to it or distilled water to it. Uh, I have one open already. There we go. 
So you, um, you can use distilled water, or you should use distilled water in it, just because our drinking water, it's not always, it's always have the best things in it. But see, it's just like, um, kind of like marshmallow fluff. Um, Milo, what are you doing? I'm getting in my stuff. Just a minute. So, um, I honestly, and all the time I've been using it, I've never had to add water to it or anything. Now, I guess if you had it for years and years and you pulled out like one that you haven't used for a while, you might need to add a little to it and stir it. So now what I'm going to do is take a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. I'm just going to lay it on there. Then I'm going to take my squeegee. Actually, I'm going to use my small one. I'm going to take my squeegee and put it, just run it all over blessed. If you guys can see this. Yep. And then any excess you can just put back in the thing. I'm going to use this for this one because getting intricate here. So then what you want to do, once you get it all down in the screen, your paste where you want it in the screen, then you're going to go over it and get all the excess off. You really could, I really could have done it with just this, but I just know myself. Okay. There, not so messy, huh? And you put the extra... Sorry, I thought he was eating something here. And then you pull, what you're going to do is pull the fabric away from this. And look what you have. Blessed. Isn't that cute and so simple? Now, what you want to do, the reason you can reuse these, it's very important, is you want to get this wet. It just it takes water, um, like lukewarm to cold water. And I use a, this one's very well loved and used. They come white and they're kind of like the magic eraser, but not as harsh. They're, they're called, um, our board sponges and they come specially to rinse this off. So because I don't have any water, I'm going to use my distilled water here and put it, I have a mat over here and I'm just going to rinse it real quick. So I don't, I don't lose my, um, Just spray some water on it, and then I'm just gonna um, because you got to keep it, that screen. You rinse it on the first part of it first on this side, and then you turn it over. Best is to take it to your sink, and I put it in the divider over the divider in my sink, or put it down in my sink, and you wash the um, this side first, the non-sticky side. Then you turn it over and when you wash this side, the sticky side, once you do this, all the fuzz comes off, everything comes back and when it dries, it's magically as sticky as it was before. It's magic, you guys. You put it back on the backer sheet after it dries and I'm telling you, you can use it again and again and again. It's amazing, amazing stuff. Okay, so I'm done with my paste. I'm gonna put it up just because um, I know that I just don't wanna dry it out. My house is so dry, especially since it's a new one. So here's the paste, it's white, um, bright white. And I have like three of these, you you need one. Let me get my wipes out here because Crafty Christy is messy. So I just have baby wipes that I keep, or wet cloth, um, I can just wipe the paint off my hands. Okay, so pitch that tape. We let this dry. It dries in four minutes, but um, I'm impatient, so I'm gonna dry it here for a second. How many of you have ever, tell me in the comments, first of all, um, let me know how many of you have used Chalk Couture before? You know, say yes, I love it, or no, I've, I've heard of it, I've never used it. Let me know so I have an idea. Um, and also uh, what you would like me to, to see me make, because I have a list of probably 50 things that I want to make with you guys, going from everywhere from a furniture that I'm going to put a table, side table, I'm going to put um, a farmhouse tile on, um, to 
a big frame picture to little mini pictures that I make like this. I made this for my um, tear tray for Valentine's Day. So I can just show you all those or any of those. And one other thing I wanted to tell you while you're, we're waiting for this to dry is um, that, again, go to my link that's in the comments. Click on that, and that's your shopping cart. I've put some, um, again, I've put some transfers in there that you could choose from. So blessed is no longer. We don't have it anymore. Um, go ahead and uh, choose. There's tons in there. I, ha I almost chose some of those. I'm going to choose some to do for a summer hat. And um, there, take out the ones, hit, click remove on the ones you don't want. And I've also put a packet of this bright white chalk paint in a packet, which is $1.49, which is plenty enough for you to do the project. And then if you um, roll it down and just put it in a plastic bag, you can save it for another another project. You can probably get three projects out of it, two to three. I put a small, a mini squeegee in there and a small, I think I put a small squeegee in there too. I, I suggest a mini squeegee for this one. And I think that's all I put in there. But I put in the things I thought you would absolutely need. And you can, of course, shop and add to it. Or you can um, remove from it. And then click cut, um, ready to check out when you're ready to check out. And i got to plug in my glue gun. I forgot. Um, when you're ready to check out, you just click check out. And um, your stuff will be sent to you from, from my shop from the company. Trying to see if I want to. I think I will plug this into my thing here to heat up. Heating up my hot glue gun. This is dry. I can touch it. Um, while my hot glue gun's heating up, let's see what this is going to look like on here. I do want to um, try to get it. To where I can tear it a little so it look, looks right more rugged yes that's what I wanted let me do it here um it's not gonna do it on the bottom cheaper material I guess oh well looks rugged enough I can ravel it out some we're gonna glue it on here um so I want to talk to you a little bit about Chalk Couture and um, how you can um, save some money because I am how I went, how I did it to save money in the beginning because I wanted all of them. Um, especially now, this is our spring summer catalog. It just came out February 8th and it's got so many goodies. And the thing that, that killed me on this was our, um, they made labels. So we now have labels that um, go on like any jars or anything and you can label your whole pantry with Chalk Couture or you can um, label your craft room, you know, that kind of thing. So there's so many um, beautiful things and sayings in here and motivational sayings. This for your preteen or, or your teenager to make or your kids to make for their pictures. They have um, so many new things that I'm gonna make with you because I got a lot of them. Um, Oh, here, it's on the front. See the flower labels? Um, and then, like, they have packets now of lemon. Like, you can buy the packet and get everything you see here to make this and directions on how to make it. Um, we're going to make it live, so we'll do that. So, I love them all. Like, I, right away, here's all my transfers back here. I have, I don't even know how many. Um, so, what I did is I joined Club Couture, which is... Um, my club that you can get into through um, through me for, um, let me get my messy one here, um, that you could get, this one's well loved, but you can get into it, um, my club, um, by, if you want to know more information about it, it's a, it's $19.99 a month, and that's how I started collecting, because we get, um, in the club, as a club member, you get um, a exclusive transfer every month with three packets of paint. Um, you'll, you will need to buy a squeegee, but they give you the three packets of paint that they suggest to make a project or two or three or four with. And, um, and an exclusive transfer. And it, they're all this size transfer. And um, this was, just to give you an idea, this was January's. So you can make things for, uh, I have two of these. My other one's very well loved. I made stuff with this. 
I've used the whole thing, but this was January, so no one else, you cannot get your hands on this unless you're a club member. This was um, this month's February, and this bike is great to use by itself for things, and it says, take the long way home, find the joy, in, find joy in the journey. I'm, I'm going to make a shirt with this for you, and then now I'll show you, this is March's, so this will come out, this is will be the first one that you, well, no, second one that you get. If you join um, by the end of this month, which is Monday, so you have a couple days, guys, it's worth it. If you're thinking about it all, you um, it's $19.99 a month, and you join, um, they take it out of your account, and then they send you this, and they're going to send you, if you do it before, the, before Monday at midnight, if you join, um, and I'll put the link in, in the comments below, but if you join, you will get this one will come to you. And you will get five previous ones for free. So that's six transfers, $75 value that you'll get. There's my light. $75 value that you'll get. Um, and then even further, if you go on and place an order um, of $60 or more, say you see stuff you want to get and you're like, I, I, I'll wait, I'm going to get it. Join Chalk Couture Club, join my club for $19.99 a month. Then log out, log back in, and if you spend greater than um, $60, you'll get another five different transfers from previous clubs from past years, which I'm so jealous because we don't have that option. I wish we had the option, but you'll have then, a, you'll have 10 plus this, so 11 uh, uh, transfers, and it's a um, $150 um, exclusive. After Monday at midnight, this that offer will be gone, but you can still get uh, $19.99. And sneak peek at Marches. Oh, this might be my favorite one. This is Marches. You'll get this for $19.99. It'll come out of your account and you'll get three packets of paint with it. But look, guys, you could do a red barn. You could do home with this, this um, for the O. It says home. You could do home sweet home. You could be farm fresh, simply blessed. There's a blessed. You can use that blessed on the hat. It's exactly the same blessed. There you go. Eat local. So anyway, guys, and you'll get um, a catalog. So I'm sorry I talked so much about that. I just get excited. So if you want to know more, if you're like, what is all this? If you want to know more about joining my club, $19.99 a month to get that transfer, that's a great way to just do projects. It's like you get a, it's like getting a subscription box. Okay, now I can do some projects. Um, and that's great. That's how I've been doing it for months. Um, then, or if you think, you know what, I want to do what you're doing to be a designer and I want to sell my stuff. Like if you want to, if you do vendor events or craft shows, you can sell your things. You can make whatever and they let you sell it. Um, so you can just make signs or these for, um, for tier trays or whatever and sell them at vendor events or online on social media, however you want to do it. Um, if you want to know more about that and what that entails and the kit and everything, I can send you a picture. Just put kit in the comments. So if you want to know more about the club, put club. If you want to know more about the kit, put kit, and I'll send it to you. So, um, but the club will be done. Okay, gun's ready to go here. The club will be done. Um, sorry. I have to have my tongue sticking out when I do this. It's hard to talk with your tongue sticking out. So the club um, special where you can get either five extra or a, or a lot or 10 extra will be done on Monday. Mm, 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 mm. Where are my finger protectors? I forgot those. Okay. So I am putting this on now. I just hot glued around it and put it on my hat and I want it to be a little rustic and kind of um, stick out here. If you know what I mean, like I want it to look rustic. Okay, all done. That's it. There's the hat. What do you think? Can you see it? Blessed. So it's just something, something simple that you can keep, you can add. Gosh, I have a big head. I'm going to have to loosen that. Um, but it's just something simple that you can do. I've talked forever, so we've gone on 29 minutes, but honestly, you could do this in five minutes if you're going out the door and you're like, you know what? 
I've got leopard print on. Like if you have a shirt on or your earrings with a black top and you're like, I just want to pull out some more leopard and the sun's going to be out. I'm going to a ball game or something. Then you can pull out a, a jean hat that you have, put this on. You don't even need to have um, this lep this extra print. I just wanted the print. You could put it straight on the hat. Um, so again, if you're going to wash it, you need to use ink, which we'll go over our ink. I'll do ink another time, but it's for clothing and you have to heat, heat set it, but I'm not going to be washing it or anything. So, um, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not even, even if I get rained on, it's not going to go anywhere. It's got to get wet and really rubbed to come off. And then it's just going to, it probably won't come off or, or it'll smear a little But That's not going to happen because I'm not going to wear it in the rain. So Anyway, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to tell you and um, just stay tuned. I'm going to try to put a video on every day of something that we're making. If there's something you want to see that, that you don't know about, let me know. I'll put it, I'll, I'll do it. Once I get comfortable, more comfortable, then I will um, go live so then we can interact. So hopefully that'll be after this week. Hey, Milo, come here and say hi to everyone. Come here, Mai. We're going to make... Oh, we're putting some on his jean jacket. Come here, baby. This is my boy, Milo. I'm an empty nester now, you guys. Um, my two girls have gone off to college. One's at Ohio State and one's in New York City at uh, Fashion Institute. So this is my boy. This is Milo. My little chihuahua. He's three years old, three and a half years old. And he's my baby. I know. So he's got a little jean jacket. We're going to put something on that. He's got... All, a bin for all of his toys that I need to label. So I'm going to do that. So you'll see some things for him that you can maybe do for your pets. So anyway, have a great day. And again, let me know in the, if you need anything, you can message me or put it in the comments and I'll be happy to help. But here, I'll get closer so you can see it. Blessed. We're all blessed, aren't we? After seeing what's going on in this world, we're blessed. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.